I would immediately class this initial play off 12 shape as ineffective by definition. As a result of the inside centre's failure to reach, target and engage his opposite man. Instead, attacking the defensive 10, as we would usually see from a narrow unders and overs shape. Most likely as a result of running the strike play off the back of a line out and thus the defence having more time to adjust due to both teams beginning the opening phase 10 metres away from the advantage line. This allows the defensive 12, Josh Matavesi, to stay out on the overs line of Piers Francis, in turn chronologically presenting the defensive 13, Jonathan Joseph, with a free lane and the opportunity to move forward in an attempt to sack the unders running 10, George Furbank, out the back, behind the advantage line, as we usually see from this narrow unders and overs shape. However, Matavesi gets greedy, and in an attempt to somewhat unnecessarily cover two players, swims off early from the overs line, I assume in an attempt to allow him to cover the unders line and Joseph to cover the additional number to Kili Nairavoro on the shoulder ball, matching numbers and killing the attack. But being a quality ball player and decision maker, Rory Hutchinson recognises this space Matavesi has left from drifting off early and plays the short ball to Francis on the overs line who makes the break. So although it's arguably an ineffective play off 12 shape by definition, it still sets the platform to challenge the defence, arguably not as much as an effective play off 12 shape would, but still enough to create and exploit Matavesi's mistake. Alternatively, in this second play-off 12 example that Northampton run in the very same game, the shape is ran effectively. As you can see, due to the added deception of the forward carrier, along with the attack being a lot closer to the defensive line and vice versa, giving the defenders less time to adjust once they recognise the shape being played in front of them, Saints have tied in Rhys Priestland, and thus eradicated him from contributing to the defence in the equation. Allowing the attacking 12, Francis in this case, to target and engage his opposite man, unlike Hutchinson was able to do in the previous example. Meaning that Hutchinson, this time running the overs line from outside centre, can also target and engage his opposite man too overloading the defensive 13's channel and removing the opportunity for him to move forward, preventing him from swimming off onto the unders running 10, giving the fly half a head start in the race into the space outside the pillar of the fixed defensive 13, allowing him to tie in the defensive open side wing, Will Muir, and put the attacking fullback, Tom Freeman, on the long ball in for his first ever Premiership try. As Tian Schumann, closing the gate from fullback, stays out on the double long ball option of the open side wing, Matt Proctor. Just like we saw yesterday with the clip from the Blues, there is no need for an extra option of the shoulder ball off Furbank because of the initial effectiveness of the playoff 12, securing the additional number right from the off, unlike with the first example. 10 metres away, Francis and oh, Furbank and they've scored again, they've Pulled open, Bath's envelope, and this time it's the young fullback, Tommy Freeman, who skates in, and Saints have a third. Oh, really good decoy lines good from play. Northampton. They're all valid runners, so they hold the defenders. Backs up early. But Autorak's the first yeah, one that runs up. this line. It goes Head, behind him, then the secondary line from Hutchinson creates the gap that Furback can run into. And then it's just about picking off the numbers. 
brilliant score but so well created by the number of options in front of defenders you see joseph there have to bounce back to those right and then there's no way he's going to be able to get out to the outside again really good manipulation of the defensive line from saints